boys and girls welcome back to the solid rock children's online church again i hope you've had a beautiful week and i hope you had a chance to go out to be able to run outside you know to have fun with your friends well uh we're back for the online church again and i hope you've looked forward to it i'm so excited about it and um, we have a lined up of activities as you know we have the worship we have the memory verse and we have the story remember today's story is so interesting it is you are going to love it and after that remember we always have the quiz session and lastly is the assignment and that's where you get all your prices so make sure you pay attention make sure that you stick by your TV set. Don't you allow anyone distract you. And make sure that you finish, you know, the video. Because that's the only way you're going to get your prize if you answer your assignment correctly. So I'll see you very soon after the story. Next song is a very simple one. And it says that as far as the heavens stand. Can somebody show me where the heavens are? Is it here? No. The point high. Can you show me? Come on. Yeah. As far as the heavens stand. So is God. God is so big. Yet it lives in our heart. Hallelujah. So we sing a song together. Okay. As far as the heavens stand. Stand above the earth. You are exalted. have the lesson for the week. Please listen carefully. Hi, today I'm going to be doing two memory verses. John 11, 3 to 4. So the sisters sent word to Jesus. Lord, the one you love is sick. When Jesus heard this, he said, this sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory that God's son may be glorified through it. Stories of the Bible. Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Jesus had a friend named Lazarus who was very sick. <coughs> He had two sisters named Mary That's okay. and Martha Here you go. who sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, 
Your dear friend is very sick. So come on! But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God. Uh, what? So although Jesus loved Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, he stayed where he was for the next two days. All right, I, let's go. Finally, he said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. Uh, are you sure? But his disciples did not think this was a good idea because the people in Judea had tried to kill Jesus. But Jesus told them they were going anyway. He said, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but now I will go and wake him up. Eh, it'll be okay. The disciples thought Jesus meant Lazarus was simply sleeping. So Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. What? And for your sakes, I'm glad I wasn't there. For now you will really believe. Come, let's go see him. Thomas said to his fellow disciples, let's go too and die with Jesus. When Jesus arrived at Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. Many people had come to be with Mary and Martha because their brother had died. When Martha got word that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said. He will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes, Lord, she told him. I have always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Then she returned to Mary. She told Mary, the teacher is here and wants to see you. So Mary immediately went to him. When the people who were at the house consoling Mary saw her leave so hastily, they assumed she was going to Lazarus's grave to weep. Oh, let's go too. So they followed her there. When Mary arrived and saw Jesus, she said, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and saw the other people wailing with her, a deep anger welled up within him. Where have you put him? He asked them. They told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. The people who were standing nearby said, see how much he loved him? But some said, this man healed a blind man. Couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Jesus was still angry and he arrived at the tomb Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. Wait, hold on, Jesus! But Martha protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Jesus said, Didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? Go ahead. So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me but I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here, so they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out! And Lazarus came out, his hands, feet, and head wrapped in cloth. Uh -huh. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. Wahoo! Many of the Jews who were there believed in Jesus, for he had raised Lazarus from the dead. Wow. Wow, guys. I hope you enjoyed that story. Because I did. And it reminds me of God's faithfulness. It reminds me that, you know, sometimes when I pray, and God does not answer immediately. It doesn't, ma it doesn't mean that God is not gonna answer me. This is what happened in the case of Lazarus. Remember, when Lazarus was just sick, the sisters of Lazarus sent someone to Jesus that he should come 
and heal his friend. But what did Jesus do? Jesus didn't come running, you know, straight away. Jesus stayed two more days. And then he came when Lazarus was already dead. And you would think that nothing was going to, you know, happen. Nothing was going to be done. But no, because Jesus is God. He knew that that particular death was such that would give glory to God because Jesus knew that he was going to come even though Lazarus would have been dead, but he knew that he is going to raise him up. And you see, it should remind you, boys and girls, that sometimes your prayers, if they are not answered immediately, does not mean they are not going to be answered. Because God always hears every of our prayers. And he, he will always respond to them. But it might be at his own time. And it is always to his glory. Lazarus was already dead. He was already smelling. But Jesus knew that he is going to be beautified. And that he is going to glorify himself out of, you know, the resurrection of Lazarus. So, boys and girls, I want to tell you, whenever you say those little prayers of yours in your bedroom, and whenever you pray for your mom and dad, and you pray for people around you, maybe to get healed, or maybe you want God to give them peace in their mind, or even for your friends, or whenever you pray for yourself, always remember that if God does not answer immediately, God will still answer you. So, don't stop praying. Always go to God in prayer. And God is always going to answer your prayers. I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope it has inspired you in one way. And I just hope that you keep trusting in God. You keep believing in Him. And it will never fail. Thank you for your time again, boys and girls. And I hope that, you know, at the end of this story, you're going to do whatever assignment that comes up on the screen so that in church, you'll be able to get all your gifts. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you in church, even though we might not have a class. But whenever I see each and every one of you, I will say hi to you. And I hope you do the same. God bless you and see you next week. Hello, boys and girls. It's time for another quiz. All right, number one. One, Lazarus was the brother of Martha and Mary. You can find this in Luke chapter 10, verse 38 to 42. And in John chapter 12, verse 2 to 3. Jesus and his disciples were on the other side of the river Jordan when they received word that their friend Lazarus was sick in Bethany, in the land of Judea. What did Jesus do before going to Bethany? A. He prayed all night for Lazarus. B. He sent his disciples ahead of him to comfort Mary and Martha. C. He healed ten lepers. D. He stayed where he was for two more days. The answer was D. Number two. Why did Jesus' disciples object to going to Judea to see Mary and Martha? A. They were afraid of being killed by the religious leaders. B. They didn't believe Jesus would be able to save Lazarus. C. It would be a very hard journey across the mountains. D. They were winning many converts and wanted to stay where they were.
the answer was A. Number three. When they arrived at Bethany, Lazarus was already dead. How long had he been dead? A. Two hours. B. Four hours. C. Two days. D. Four days. The answer was D. Four days. Number four. What did Jesus say to Lazarus when he raised him from the dead? A. Lazarus, your faith has saved you. B. Lazarus, come out. C. Lazarus, your sins are forgiven. Rise and sin no more. D. Lazarus, arise. Your sisters are waiting for you. The answer was B. Number five. In what town did Lazarus live? He was also raised from the dead here. A. Bethany. B. Cana. C. Jerusalem. D. Nazareth. The answer was A. Number six. Lazarus had two sisters who cared a great deal for him. What were their names? A. Mary and Elizabeth. B. Mary and Martha. C. Martha and Elizabeth. D. Elizabeth and Anna. The answer was B. Mary and Martha. And for the last question for today's quiz, number seven, Lazarus's sisters sent Jesus a message telling him that their brother was sick. What did Jesus do after he received the message? A. He left to help them immediately. B. He arrived four days after he got the message. C. He was so busy that he didn't arrive for a week. D. He waited two days before going to them. The answer was B. Time for the home quiz. As always, the first correct answer that gets into church will receive a gift in church. So ask your parents to use the email address of church, which is kidszone at solidrockdublin.org to submit your answer. So the question is this. There is a verse in the chapter where the story of Lazarus was taken from. That's John chapter 11. In the King James Version, KJV, that is said to be the shortest sentence in the entire Bible. What verse is that? And what is the sentence? As always, send your homework in to the church email at kidszone at solidrockdublin.org. Have a lovely, 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 lovely time. Just kidszone at solidrockdublin.org.
but I will establish my covenant with you. To do something like you that our father God, God, God is all knowing, that means He knows everything. He went he ahead, everything. He knows tomorrow. And all right, like I'm so silly, silly. Like, like you're, you're so seen out, like you're so guess what? You know, you just need all the same, right?